In this problem, we have a table and it's information regarding orders at a drive through restaurant. So it says, if one order is selected, find the probability of getting an order that is not accurate. So we could use that little complement formula for this problem, but it's not really necessary. Um, let's just directly do the problem. So we want the probability of an order that is not accurate. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's try it. So this is a fraction. Okay, and on the bottom we have the total number of orders. So to figure that out, what we have to do is add up all of these numbers. So let's go ahead and carefully do that. So I'm going to add them all up. So 315 plus 31 plus 272 plus 57 plus 231 plus 40 plus 126 and plus 11. Good stuff. All right, enter. So 1,083, that's the total. That number always goes in the bottom, okay? So that's the number of ways to get an order. So on the bottom, it's the number of ways to get an order, which is the total. And on the top, it's the number of ways to get an order that is not accurate. So how many ways can we get an order that is not accurate? So to figure that out, what we do is we add up all of the orders that are not accurate. So all of this, this bottom row here, okay? So that, that would be 31. The bottom row, plus 57, plus 40, plus 11. So we hit enter. So 139. So there's a 139 ways to get an order that is not accurate. So the probability of getting an order that is not accurate is the number of ways to get an order that is not accurate divided by the number of ways to get an order. To figure out the number of ways to get an order that is not accurate, you add up the bottom row of this table. Those are all the orders that are not accurate. To figure out the number of ways to get an order, which is in the bottom, you have to add up all of the numbers. That's the total. Remember, the total always goes in the bottom. All right, the only thing we have to do now is put this in our calculator. Let's do it. So it's 139 divided by 1083. Let's see what we get. 0.128, that would be three decimals. I'm going to go ahead and write it down. So 0 0.128, 0 0.128, beautiful stuff. And let's type it in. So let's see, let's see if it's right. 0 0.128. Yes, yes it is. I hope that helped.